Let's see. Okay, I'm unmuted now. All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another late night paint night. I'm your host, Adam, at Time Warp Custom Paint. I have my wife here, Ashley. Hey, guys, what's up? She will uh, relay, relay any uh, questions to me. As uh, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and and uh, hit, hit me up in the comments there, and, and we'll uh, see if we can get those answered. But for now, uh, for a chance to win, go ahead and hashtag Lime into the comments and hit that like button on the video. And uh, that'll put you in for a chance to, to win some cool prizes here in a little bit. So Cool. I'm going to start out by cleaning the tank. So as you know, this is round two for this particular tank. So I'll kind of take you through the process real quick of how we got to this point. And if, and if you don't know how we got to this point, you can uh, go back and rewatch the live uh, we had last Thursday. But like I said, we're here every Thursday night. Uh, this is round two on this tank. Um, when this tank came into me, it came in painted already uh, white with clear coat over it. Basically just a white paint job. I scuffed it down with 600 grit, cleaned it, and then I applied the lime line uh, the lime line bright orange so this is added into uh, inner coat clear or clear base coat you strain it and then um, i applied it to get that orange color and once again this is applied over white base coat if you apply this over black base coat or primer it's not going to be as bright or as vibrant so keep that in mind that this needs to be applied uh, for best results to be really bright over a white base coat. And that's what I did in this case. And then uh, after the white base coat went down, I hit it with uh, three coats of 2K clear coat. Clear coat has part A, part B. Uh, let that dry for, you know, 12, 18 hours, um, even longer, depending on, uh, you know, the conditions that you're spraying in. Uh, sanded it with a, uh, with 600 grit sandpaper, or you can use the uh, Lime Line 600 grit sanding sponge to knock it down and make it smooth again. That way, the next layers that we paint on top here um, have something to stick to. And that's very important. The paint does not stick to clear coat that hasn't been sanded. So um, that's how we got to this point. Uh, well, at least with the orange, um, we laid out the graphics last Thursday just using black base coat. And um, tonight, uh, I'll go ahead and flip this thing around. I'll show you what we'll be doing. Uh, we'll be adding some more details into the, the color here and adding a, a Harley Davidson sign as well. So cool. That was a lot of talking. It looks like we got a new member, Redneck Side Motorcycle Whips. Oh, yeah. So I talked to him today. Nice. Welcome. Okay. So this is just to kind of give you a preview. I've already done this side of the tank. Um, it still needs a couple of things here and there. Um, there's a couple of blemishes that I need to take care of, but, um, and also I'm going to add highlights to the gray. Um, and I haven't decided if I'm going to do that on this layer or I may, it's going to go into clear coat. I may do it on the next layer, you know, so if I, if I make a mistake, I'm, uh, going to easily be able to correct it. So someone's um, wondering if you could spray that orange over a silver or or would it kill the silver metallic? It would, it would kill, kill the, the silver, silver metallic. It's not like a candy. This is going to be a pigmented color. It's only meant to, to cover. Um, and also you want to shoot to get 100% um, coverage as well. So it doesn't look speckly or anything like that. Um, so it's not like a transparent candy. It's um, It would be like a regular paint. But as you can see here, let me go ahead and I'm going to take this camera off the tripod for a second. That way we can kind of zoom into the details that we're going to be painting on the other side so um we do have the harley davidson script that's in the dark gray which is the same color as these little squares that i painted in here there i did some here and i also did a few here um uh, the other thing you as you can see is right here you can see along the edges 
that I, I added a highlight. See it right here. It really, it really makes all the difference when it comes to uh, the graphics. See, here's the, the dark gray compared to just what we did last week, which is just, just orange. A little bit of accents like that. So that's what we'll be doing on the other side here is uh, duplicating of what um, I did here earlier. So cool. Yeah. Any questions? Uh, let me know. It looks like we had a super, oh, Roman Roman came the super chat. chat. Yeah, I appreciate that, dude. Hey, we got your um, replacement cup out. Kind of spaced it for a second, but um, it's shipped. We shipped a priority. Okay, there we go. Question came in that said, if the customer wanted a matte finish on this paint job, would it be a different process? Um, this is going to be a matte finish, actually. Um, so the process of painting is going to be the same all the way through. The only thing that's going to be different is at the very end, we're going to, going to apply the satin clear coat. And then it's done. There's no cut and buff at that point. I'm just going to use some glass cleaner. Get this cleaned up real, real quick. quick. Uh, they do say the highlight does make such a big difference. It does. It really does. And, it's, and they're super easy to do, too. And once again, everything on this side has been clear coated. So um, there is no base coat on us. Oh, well, I'm actually wrong. This black right here is an after fact. I actually added that in um, earlier today. Everything that you saw us paint below was was from here below. That's This is actually something a little uh, was, was new that I added. I felt like I didn't have enough graphics on the top. So uh, it's easy enough just to add add in a little bit here and there. Sandra said that her husband just received eight boxes of products today. Oh, all right. And she said, I'm sure there's more on the way. <laughs> I Bubba appreciate said, that. Bubba said this design would be a good t-shirt also. Yeah, for sure. And then Brett says, I didn't get a chance to ask you when we talked, but have you ever done graphics over a powder coat base? I've done graphics over what? powder coat base uh ye yes i have um you can just scuff up the powder coat and go straight off of that with your base coat uh ocpd says how long oh when will the new products be going let's see when will the new products going to be added to order um which, which the new products i'm not sure which ones He'll answer us. What products are you talking about? OCPD? Yeah, it's the, uh, so we do have a mini gun that's out now. Um, and we do have the uh, microfiber towels here that I was just using. Okay, you see right here, what I'm doing is the first things first is we did, we did have some errors from the first go around. Right here, as you can see, it was a little, a little chunk missing. It's not that clean of a line. So I'm going to address some of these little problems. See right here and right there on the other side. We're going to address some of these problems um, now uh, before we do the rest of these graphics. Because right now we're able to sand anything on this. And uh, if we get any overspray, we're able to take care of it. Um, and, and also, also uh, we just want to make sure we, we don't forget to do any of those. And if you look right here as well, see how that line is bad. So I'm just going to go ahead and... A few of these out real quick. Big Jerry says, "How long did you wait before you pulled the tape?" Um, did you just knock it down a bit? Um, if you, now that depends. If you're using black base coat, that's really not going to matter. Um, Yeah, I think we're good. Yeah, uh, hopefully they can hear me. Yeah, say that question again. Sorry. 
uh, so that. Um, yeah, it's better to sand it smooth. Oh, it did not. Oh, no, that's good. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Having a little bit of a connection issue. Um, answer to that question is yes, you want to knock down the orange pill, especially if you're putting a, a metallic over the top because the metallic or the pearl will take on the texture of that orange pill and you'll be able to see it. Um, if you're spraying black base coat, it'll hide the texture and you can pretty much get away with anything. Okay, so I'm going to just spray right here. Uh, another question. Do you prefer Sherwin Williams panel clear or you pool? I see you, I see you use both in your videos. Uh, yeah, that was probably a while ago. We have our own line of clear coat now that would be comparable to both of those. But, um, yeah, they all worked for me all in the past. You pull and both uh, Sherwin Williams, but we do have, in fact, our new line of clear coats is going to be coming out very shortly. Um, we just have to get some of the shipping stuff and the logistics of it figured out and, and uh but yeah we'll have a uh, two gallon kits and um gallon kits as well and the epoxy, and the epoxy primer is, it will, will also be on so the direct -to metal epoxy primer and he's supposed to be working on putting their shirts and hoodies on yeah <laughs> we keep saying that don't we we uh do i say that you, just keep, me? you keep saying it oh, okay huh? <laughs> I tell you to do it, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Things take priority. I don't know how that happens. <laughs> I don't know either. <sighs> Maybe this weekend I can get him to do it. Mm -hmm. we'll see about that. <laughs> no, we'll, I'll, I'll do my best. I know I've been dragging my feet at that. My new list is growing. <laughs> You're right, Bubba. All right, let's get a close up right here because. Let me prop this up just a little more if I can. All right, so now we can see it. See right here where just a little funky. So this has been cleared over, so it's it's smooth, um, and that's really the best time to be able to fix um, some of these imperfections. Uh, really, what I was focused on um, on the last layer was making sure that I didn't have black overspring in the orange because um, real quick. If you, it, it's really hard to be able to fix black overspray on the orange. Like, say this was just orange base coat and not protected with clear coat right now. If you were to get black overspray on that, it would be really tough to be able to get rid of that. It's not as easy as just throwing more orange over the top because it's going to have a different shade, a different color. It's going to look mottled right there because um, it's just going to be different because it's layered different. So you got to be really careful with the black and the orange. If you get orange overspray on the black, easy enough to be able to fix that. So all of our imperfections, I made sure that they were in the black and can be um, repaired that way. So what I'm gonna do is just. Dave M won one of the shirts and he says he loves the t-shirt. Oh, cool. Douglas Swanson said, Ash, he's still on vacation mode. <laughs> Laugh out loud. <laughs> she is. Lewis says, is hardener and activator the same? Uh, yes, it is. Bubba says the best day to do something you don't want to do is tomorrow. <laughs> That's fact. Justin asked, is your Limeline 2K clear a good finish clear? Uh, yes. Yeah, both of them are. One's an overall clear coat and the other is a high solids clear. Um, high solids is a little more premium. It's going to have a, uh, it's going to build faster. But yeah, it all polishes good. It's all good. It's all uh, chemically hardened 2K. All right, so we're taking care of those couple of areas right there. John said, I think I know who the boss is. He figured it out. <laughs> I'm exposed. <laughs> Chucky said, how do you compare your clear to PPG ECU 5050? 
Uh, I have never, you know, it's been so long since I've used that. The um, high solids clear that we have coming out is it's pretty much the best stuff that I've used. You know, I, I can say that because, you know, who who really knows? But really, it is, and it, it is more pricey. Um, it's actually the through the manufacturer. It's the most expensive stuff that I can buy. It's the it's the top of the line. Um, and then the other is um, kind of a mid grade that, that I kind of chose between, um, you know, a lower end. There's there was a lot to choose from really. Um, I tested them, see, seen what I like the best for the price. Uh, so, I, but I did go with with the best on one of them because it's just this is good. It's it's expensive, but it's good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and fix those. Darren says, speaking of U pull, is it okay to do all my clear coats using my U pull? And then hold on, I lost him. And then you use the line line clear on top once I'm done, or is two different clear, or will the two different clears clash? Um, so as long as the one's dry, um, you're good. Yeah, as long as the one is dry. You know, I'm gonna actually redo this. Tyler said, right just use your 2K clear on my last bike build and loved it. It looks great. Yeah, that stuff turns out good. Any idea of a timeline when the high solids clear will be available? Uh, hopefully this weekend. Yeah, we have to get uh, pictures and some logistics figured out. Uh, I'm going to do a lot of that tomorrow. All right, I wanted to make sure that I ran that line into the black because I didn't want... Um, yeah, I didn't want to cut that short right there. Plans to do any hand striping on the tank? You've been practicing, right? Oh, man, I wish I had time. I, I need to practice more. Um, I haven't practiced since. I'm not going to lie. Have I? Well, I practiced that day. The day I got back, and I really didn't. No, well, didn't you do it the next night? Oh, yeah, I did. I did one more. I feel like I'm in slacking, though. T-shirt, someone said. <laughs> I'm going to have to start uh, getting stuff done, so I don't have to hear it every week. I know. Okay, let's see how we're looking here. I'm telling you. I'm not messing around. Do you, ever, do you ever do all the graphics just in the base coat layer? Uh, if it's simple graphics, yeah, I, um, I do. Like I'll, uh, I'll lay out a base coat and then, um, especially if it's a base coat black that I'm working on because I can easily, um, fix that. But this needed to be in order to get this bright orange, it needed to be on base coat white. And then everything had to be the, the, the orange. So I'm kind of working this thing opposite. So you see this right here, see how that kind of blends up into the black. Once this is wet and clear coated again, that will go away. As long as you make sure that you're using the same black, you're going to be okay with that. Um, if this was any other color, you're not going to get away with doing that. Uh, most likely, those lines will show up. But that's the nice thing about black is because it's really forgiving when it comes to um, anything as far as like blending into it or um, covering up texture and stuff like that. So black is a great, uh, great, great color to work with. As far as, as, far as a graphics, uh, graphics standpoint, polishing, polishing different, different story. story. <laughs> uh, uh, polishing polishing black is the worst. Uh, y'all know, if y'all know, know, let me know. know it's, uh, it's, uh, it's not fun. Okay, well, this says 78 likes. Uh, come on, everyone, hit the like button. Hit the like button. Yeah, hit the like button. We'll give something away. When is your white base coat coming out? Uh, um, it's on the, it's on the ship. Yep. It's on the ship. It's, we should have it soon. Uh, we're not sure on a date on that. See how we, See have, how we have a couple of errors right here. I'm going to go ahead and take care of that. Fat lack said, did I just hear the fridge open? Uh, no, that's actually my compressor. I think that just flipped on. <laughs> okay. So just, I was going to clean up that edge. And clean up this little bit of an edge right here. Fat Life said, what's Ashley's beverage tonight? And it's water. Again. 
Someone says there's an echo. Yeah, there's a little bit of an echo because I think it's coming through my phone. Let me see if I can turn it down. Huh, that's as low as it goes. It does have a little bit of an echo, though. What compressor do you use for your airbrush? Have you ever tried the Avante, and do you recommend it? Uh, yes, I use the Avante airbrush. Yep, it's good. Um, I, is it the compressor, Avante compressor? I'm not sure about that, but I'm guessing it's okay as well. Boring because I'm drinking water. <laughs> the graphics on this thing is super boring too right now. Sorry about that. All we're doing is just touching stuff up. But we're about to get into um I can touch some of these up afterwards. I just wanted to make sure I got those ones. Uh because I do want to put that emblem and stuff on there. Is there an orange spot in the middle of the black? Yeah, right here. Oh, no, there was. There was. <laughs> Okay, let's uh, let's do this. I'm gonna go ahead and tape out the edge here. How'd you get the car on the second floor? Someone says. Uh, oh. Oh. We very interesting, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's uh. Well, it's not really a second floor up there because we're only on the second floor on this half of the building. But uh, how did I think ratchet straps? I remember right. That's only half the car. That's only a part of the car. How are you liking the trigger style airbrush? Uh, I don't mind it. Um, it seems like it's leaking air right now though, because my compressor is not shutting off. I should probably pull the plug on that. Beautiful lines. You're very skilled. Can't wait to see the finished product. 92 likes now. Oh, hit that like button. We'll give something away. How do you deal with small stuff getting into paint? Naps, hair, dust. So you just pick and repaint? Um, usually you can, if it's small stuff, um, usually it disappears. Um, but uh, if it's like in the clear coat in the booth and something falls in it, um, a lot of times what I'll do is, yeah, I'll use a piece of tape to pull it out. Um, wetting down the floor helps out. Uh, wearing a, a paint suit will also keep things a lot cleaner. And then uh, really with custom paint, everything gets cut and buffed. So if you have like a little nib sand or a little, like a little nib that flies into your clear coat, you can always sand it and polish it out. So it's not the end of the world. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and trim this. What's the base coat ratio you mix for the airbrush? Uh, it all kind of depends on the paint. You know, so because some paint comes thicker or thinner, or maybe you, maybe you're down to like this bottom half of your uh, paint bottle, so it's thicker. Um, but general rule is on most paints would be one to one. Um, but it all kind of depends on your airbrush um, and what you're doing, you know, what exactly you're spraying. Uh, really, the thing is, is just to get to know your airbrush and to see how it sprays when you have thick paint and then see how it sprays when you got thin paint and see how it sprays when you have high air pressure with thick paint low air pressure with thin paint you know try it all Get, um mess with all the dials and the thickness and the thinness and see what it does and how it acts because really what you're wanting is it is it to to spray and just to to blend in really smooth and really gradual um, the thicker the paint obviously the bigger the droplet size and the um the less of a blend, nice blend you'll have. And one light. Oh, there we go. We can go ahead and give something away. Let's do it. What do you? What? What should we? Uh, what should we do, Ash? I don't know. You tell me. Um. Let's do. Well, let's do some of the stuff that we're using here. We'll do. Uh, the orange and the uh, the bright yellow.
pigments. So that'll be this color. And then we're going to be using a, a yellow of the same series of the 90s uh, bright series. Uh, we'll give them that. And then also they're going to need some tape and some masking tape. So let's do that. So with some fine line tape and some uh, combo pack of masking. Ryan Christensen just sent you a $20 super chat. Oh, right on. Thank you. Appreciate that, Ryan. All right. Let's spin the wheel. All right. All right, who we got? Zane Hope. Good job, buddy. You won. So all you have to do is shoot us an email. Info at limelinepaintsupply.com. Let us know who you are and what you won. And then we just need to know your address. Oh, no. I don't know if this is the last thing that went to junk mail. <laughs> I'll check the junk, but I'll put the email up. <laughs> Why did it go to junk? Yeah, and then I didn't see it for like a week, two weeks or something. If oh, it's the same right, person? I don't know if it is or not. Oh, okay. But that happened to some I'm somebody named Zane. Oh, no. Oh, it was him. <laughs> hey, well, hopefully. Hopefully you're out of our junk. Yeah. I have been actually paying attention to junk since that happened, so. Okay, that that looks like that'll work. Right there. Okay, see how there's more orange right here? We're definitely going to want to cover that up. And maybe a little bit more up here just to be safe. Okay. We got the classic Harley-Davidson font here. Uh, I'll go ahead and finish weeding it out. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Yeah, right on. Well, uh, stick around, guys, because we're going to give more stuff away. Zane's not going to be the only winner tonight. All right, so I'm just going to pull out. So this is cut with the Cricut Maker 3. Uh, and the Cricut Maker 3 comes with a... Uh, an app, which is the design design space. Is that what it is? Yep. Design space app that uh, will help you clean up images to turn them into like a, a, a cuttable image. Uh, but you still need a decent image to start with. But it does an okay job. Uh, what I'll do is sometimes when I want to, if I, if I have an image, I will clean it up in a different program and then send it into there to, to do the final touches on it. Okay. Harley Davidson. That's it. What's, okay. your, what's your opinion on the guys doing the 3D artwork on tanks and saddlebags? I think it's Chameleon Paints from Japan. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's an incredible amount of work, first of all. And it's amazing. It really is what they're doing. Yeah, a lot of work involved with that, and uh, just lots of skill. It's beautiful. What vinyl do you use for the stencils? Uh, you know the answer to that, right? Uh, Oracle something. Uh, 621? 631? I think it's on the back of that. Let's see. 631. Okay. Joe says he needs to start using this cricket more. Let me uh, back this up a little bit. We're awfully close here. Javon says, thank you for all the insider tips. I'm painting my trike. Thanks to you. Has the new Limeline airbrush you mentioned came out yet? Uh, No, I'm still testing a few of them. This one's actually leaking. From... I still haven't figured out where yet. It could be in this fitting. I don't know. I usually put things to the, you know, to the, push them to their limits. And it seems like every airbrush I use breaks. 
I don't know. Maybe I'm too hard on him. I don't know. I love my cricket. Well, Matt says, Sandra says, I have a cricket, but I'm getting a Maker 3 soon. Oh, yeah, the Maker 3. That's Makes good. <laughs> okay, so I have some of the gray base coat. So I just took white and black and mixed it together to get the tone of gray that I wanted. Um, the reason I wanted to go with dark gray is because I, I just didn't want it to like um, have a whole lot of contrast uh, because the Harley Davidson font was so huge because I really needed it that big to kind of fill up the area. Um, if that was in a bright white, I feel like it wouldn't look the same. Um, but the fact that we're painting it in a similar tone, it, you can get away with um, more crazy stuff, I feel like. But Okay, anyways. So we're going to put the Harley Davidson on there. There was two ways that we could have done this. Uh, we could have laid down the opposite uh, positive. Would it be the positive or the negative? This would be the negative. Um, we could have laid down the negative stencil, the opposite of this, and sprayed that down. Um, uh, it's okay. when you're. I probably could have done it that way. I prefer to actually just lay down the gray beforehand, and then we'll stick the, this over the top. Um, but you can do it either way. I just like to do it. I like to do it this way for some reason. So we'll go ahead and fill up the cup. Oh, that's pretty thick. I can already tell that that's, that's thicker than what I'm going to want. So just a little bit of urethane reducer mixed in. Okay, that looks better. Okay, let's do this. Uh, we'll get an idea how big this thing is. It needs to be right there. So I need to make sure that I'm covering um, this whole area. That paint's still pretty thick. Uh, I'm okay with it. Could be thinner. You heard me say Ryan gave you a 21 to the chat, right? Oh. Oh, yeah. And Ryan? Then, oh, no, I didn't hear that. That was right before we spun the wheel. Oh, okay. I appreciate that. Yeah, thanks, Ryan. And then Isaac just did a $20 super chat. Oh, right on, Isaac. Thank you. Uh, looks like we need a little more like down this way. Just want to make sure we have the whole area covered. Also, when I taped the, the outside edges of this, um, I taped up. I didn't try to follow the the exact line. I, I uh, under taped it a little bit. Is that, is that right? I under, yeah. Anyways, I taped it a little bit on the black. How much pressure? Uh, I'm at full blast, whatever that thing's giving me, which is at like 20 PSI. But my paint's pretty thick. You can hear it. That it's kind of like just sounds different. It's louder. You, like I said, you'll get to know your airbrush once you use it. But I'm okay with this being a little thick because I'm not trying to get a nice blend. Like I'm not, well, I'm not actually keeping any of this paint except for like that's what's right there. So if we were trying to do a nice smooth blend, this would be a terrible mixture. I would put, need to put more reducer in here to make it thinner so it blends nicer. These blends aren't good, but we're not using, you know, we're not using this for the blends. And you'll see why, because we'll cover this in black. Okay. I think that's good, right? Let's see. Yep. Let's go a little more right here so I don't miss anything. Okay. Nice thing about base coat, it dries really fast. It's not like a clear coat or anything like that. So this is pretty much dry. It's a little wet right there still. And right there. Kind of see it a little wet. But... Um, Let's go ahead and we'll put some transfer tape on this. You can either use frisket film. Uh, we don't have frisket film, so we're just going to use the Limeline uh, two inch. Uh, so this is semi-transparent, so we're still going to be able to see the words. So we can kind of line it up. Oh, 
that ain't big enough. Let's try this again. Okay, make sure we've got our dash and our eye. Those always like to run away. Jay said, seen the new mini guns on the website. Looked really hard, but didn't see any new shirts. <laughs> got the mini guns though. Yeah. We haven't sold any mini guns yet. I don't think, did we sell any? Did they? No. So we're hoping to sell one of those. Um, no, we probably should have put the shits on first, I guess. The so. shits on? Is that what I said? Yeah, you forgot to say the R in there. <laughs> I'm sorry. Maybe that's why you keep putting them off. <laughs> I don't know how to spell it. <laughs> I, I did notice my spelling on some of my stuff today on social media was horrible. Well, yeah, you suck at spelling all the time, man. What do you mean? Okay, enough about me. Let's put this on. <laughs> Shady Vito said, I trace on my tape a lot, so I need to get some of that semi-transparent tape. So yeah, see how we can still see the, the Harley Davidson through that? So yeah, makes it much nicer. Okay, I think we're gonna want it. So I'm following this line right here, which I came across, I came up with this line from the bottom of the tank. I'm just trying to follow the shape of everything. Um, so quit thinking about it. I'm just gonna lay this thing down. Great. For Metal Flake, I personally like gray base coat, but why do you prefer black? Um, just a little more contrast. It, it gives it more sparkle. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't use black base coat if I was using like a huge flake. Like if I was blowing on like a 0.25 flake, I would not use black base coat because it's just not going to give you the cup. Um, and once again, just because you have big flake doesn't mean it's more sparkly. Um, really having the lime lines, the two different sizes, 0.08. Uh, 0.04, which is going to give you coverage, but it has the two sizes of flake. All right, let's go ahead and take the, we'll be using this, and these come with the combo pack of tape, and you can also buy them by, by themselves, but these things are awesome. They'll, uh, you can use them to, like a credit card, you know, like you would just, Josh said the mini guns are in now. What's that? Josh said the mini guns are in now. Uh, yeah, they are. Yep. You'll find them on Amazon and Shopify. Chad said, I almost bought a mini gun. I wanted to wait and see you use it, though. So. Yes, I am going to. Uh, I'm going to actually do a whole paint job with it coming up because the, the new mini gun is a 0 0.08 tip. Oh, no, I'm sorry, a 0 0.8 tip. Um, very small so you're going to be able to use it with a small compressor as well um so i'm gonna i have this a uh, small like a uh, harbor freight compressor i'll do the i'm gonna try to do the whole thing with that because really it doesn't take much air with that little guy and you can spray clear coat with it have you ever tried doing graphics with lumalore i haven't no nope. my buddy john booth has Have you have you kept the first thing you ever painted? If so, what did you paint? Uh, what was the I couldn't even tell you the first thing I painted. Um, I kept a I, you know what I do have some, like a skull and fire from Mike Lavelli's class, hanging down by my booth. That's probably the oldest thing I have, and that was like. 10 years ago, 12 years ago or something down here in Salt Lake City, which was at the air affair. And the air affair is actually coming back to Salt Lake City this year. Um, the date, I'm not so sure on the date. I know it's later uh, in fall, but some of the greatest airbrushers in the world are going to be there here in Salt Lake City. Um, so you'll be able to buy tickets and stuff to that. That's kind of off subject, but, and we'll talk about that more 
once that comes, but I'll be there as well. Not as a teacher, it's just as a, it's just a student. I'd rather it be that way anyways, to be honest. All right, we almost got this. I'm using 0 0.008 flake from Dib Spade and a gray base coat with some candy blue from Inspire. Any recommendations for doing large hoods? Doing what? Large hoods? Recommendations? Ah, hmm. Uh, I'm not sure what you're trying to say there, I guess. Like, uh, recommendations on graphics? Yeah. It sounds like you're set up to do, a, a, like, a Metal Flake job, so. Yeah, give me more insight on that. I can help you out. Roller okay. roller works great for getting that vinyl to stick. Oh, I've never thought of that. That's brilliant. Where's my roller? I'm liking this idea. Well, hold on, I need to clean all the flake off of it. Is the line line done HVLP or LVLP? Um, everything that we have in the lime line is going to be HVLP. What CFM? This is amazing. Who said that? What CFM is it rated for and does it come with extra tips? Um, there is the, uh, the C I'll have to get back to you on the CFM. You have to email me. I'm not sure exactly on that number. Um, and it, no, it just comes with the one tip. Mickey That's. Mickey, that brilliant. Brilliant. I wish I can give him a super chat. Is there a reverse super chat? Can I super chat him? Yeah, that's what a great idea. Um, that seems like that worked really good. Got a little leaf on there. Okay. It says, wow, the mini gun shoots Claire. Awesome. A pain using and cleaning my gun for small projects. Projects. Mini gun will be perfect. Yeah. And uh, less air consumption. And I know that's a concern for a lot of people because, um, you know, regular size air guns, spray guns, they take quite a bit of air. This will slow the flow. Matt, the one that asked you if you've kept your first thing, he said, I've been trying to keep my, my original stuff so I can see how much I've improved over the years. Yeah, that's a great idea. And I still have some of my stuff that I've painted, like some of my first murals. Um, yeah. What time do you think you're going to be at the shop tomorrow? Old man Bam says he wants to try to stop by. Uh, I'll be there uh, noon to three for sure. Noon to three? Yeah. Okay, you heard it from him. Jay says, I know the flake is too large, but will you be able to shoot the crushed glass mix with clear through the minigun? No. Nope. And then in regard to lacquer thinner cracks, you do different mixing ratios with the lacquer give you more or less cracking. Yeah, that's kind of a hit and miss on that. You really have to find the sweet spot. Um, and it usually takes some time in order for that to happen. Like it's not going to crack like... Um, just all by itself. It's also not the same way that some of these other guys are doing it. I feel like they're doing it in the clear coat. Um, this is a way to do it in the base coat, which is a little different. Um, yeah, maybe if you can... I, people are still trying to figure out how those guys are doing that. But Have you ever uh, used the film sanding disc? Total game changer for cut and buff. Uh, oh, the film sanding disc? Uh-huh. For cut and buff? Oh, hmm. Yeah, I think I'm like the purple. Bubba says, give Mickey a membership for that roller comment. I should. I don't know if I can do that, though. What ratio do you use for metal fl flake with clear coat? Uh, what ratio? Um, it's one pack. One pack of lime lined uh, metal flake will mix into... Uh, one pint of uh, clear coat or clear base coat. You can do either way. Um, clear coat's going to make the it's going to make the flake lay down smoother. Will 
Uh, no, it won't. The lime line is going to need a minimum of, of 1.3 tip size. I'm going to go ahead and turn on that fan. I almost have it. Dude. Uh, the 1.3 will still do it. Uh, keep in mind that that 1.3 is an HVLP gun. Um, the old series was an LVLP. We did change that to an HVLP. If it does say that, it's wrong. It's uh, everything that we have in Limeline is HVLP. Will you be doing matching fenders with this tank? Yes. Uh, actually, matching fairing and matching bags and matching side cover. Sweet. Yeah, I have the I have the fairing uh, all the way to this point. I can kind of give you a glance at that, showing you the um, how I kind of matched up the graphics. But, but I, I did do the graphics on the tank to start, start and then I, I kind of build off uh, and do the other parts after that. Okay, I think I'm good here. I just want to make sure. Have you ever worked as a collision refinish tech? Yes, I have. That's kind of where I came from. All right, we're gonna we'll go ahead and expose this section. Are they gonna be able to see this all on the mic? Is this mic gonna be at the Daytona? Yes, it is. That means I have to have it done like next week. But yeah, this will be added to his list. See, this is ever long. This is why I don't have the t-shirts on. I'm telling you why i don't take jobs anymore really but uh, this is one i uh promised somebody a long time ago this is actually my friend's bike so and he let me do whatever i wanted which is a good thing if you're a painter which i wanted to make it simple still pretty easy to do will they be able to see will they be able to see some completed pictures with it assembled on the bike and everything uh yeah yep that'll happen what's in daytona what are you taking it to it's a bike rally daytona bike week get rid of all this masking tape come on Yvonne sent you a $10 super chat and said, thanks for all your help. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. Who is that? Yvonne? Yvonne. Thank you so much. All right. Let's see what this looks like. Bike week's coming soon. Daytona Beach Bike Week. It's coming soon. Faster than you would ever believe. Oh, see, look at that. When we first sprayed that on, we didn't think. Obviously, that didn't look that bright because we had a blend that was blending into the black. But now that we have a hard line. 17 Eat Custom Paint said, I'll get to show off my bike. Oh, really? You must be going to that show, too. Nice. Yeah, I think uh, almost everybody goes to that. Except you, for us. Do you watch Robbie Layton? Robbie Layton, I know that name. Uh, I must have I must have something saw him somewhere. Maybe let me know who this guy is. Seventeen custom paint said it gets crazy here during bike week. 
Steve Hawkins. Oh, so he's there. Steve Hawkins said, I'll be at Bike Week. I'll look for the bike. Well, I don't think you can miss this one. <laughs> it's bright orange. Yeah, I don't even think he knows it's bright orange. He doesn't have a clue what's going on here. He doesn't know what you're painting. It's no. going to be a surprise to him. Yeah, he says do whatever I want, but he said not to paint one color, and I can't remember what color it was, and I'm hoping it's not orange. Oh, my hell. Because <laughs> he did say, he's like, because um, usually that's the one thing I'll ask him. I was like, is there some? Is there something you don't like? Is there a Why didn't color? Why you ask him and say, I hope it's not orange? Because I really wanted to paint orange on this one. Oh my God. And I'm pretty sure it wasn't orange. Pink? Nobody hates orange. No, I think it'd be okay to pink. Oh. I think, actually, I think that was part of the conversation. I think it was because it, there was a chance it could go pink. So he's going to be okay with it. You don't know. You no, nah, he will. He said nothing. He'd be fine. He's getting okay. discount. Big discount. <laughs> oh. All right. That's looking pretty good. So once again, um, I can add more detail into this, like adding highlights into the gray at this point. Um, but I might wait because it is going to get another layer of clear coat before it gets the satin clear. Um, if I was to do that over the next layer of clear, it would have that protection there. And if, say, like... I was to spray like and not like it or i was to spray too heavy or um anything like that it would give me a chance to be able to erase um, anything i'm doing um, same thing with this like this has all been clear coated besides right here this has all been clear coated if i don't if i do something on here and i don't like i can simply just erase it but anyways okay let's uh we're gonna go ahead and move on to uh, doing the so we're in the gray so we'll go ahead and put the uh, the gray kind of rectangles in here he says yeah he just lives he says yeah i just live outside daytona in dealand oh right on and robbie layton does paint and body work in utah someone said huh there's over 500k people that attend daytona bike week Better to ask for forgiveness than permission. I like that. Do you ever take full bikes in and disassemble or always just the tanks and fenders, etc.? I'm wondering what I should charge people that want to bring the whole bike in. Um, you do want to charge them a lot. Uh, because that may, if you're doing that, that's also going to make you responsible for any damage that happens. Um, and there's a lot of stress that goes in into... Uh, to doing that unless you're like a because we've taken a part like yeah back in the past we've taken bikes apart and then for some reason they would not start back up i don't know why like something would screw up with them and then you're responsible for that you know um, and it's a lot of work to do that like to, to take bikes apart and uh, so i wouldn't that would be my advice i would i would try to stay away from that uh, but if you were to take like a a tank and two fenders off, you know, I would, I would definitely charge, um, you know, minimum of like a thousand bucks or something, well, at least almost as much as the paint job. Almost. Old man dad said, ain't no one can be mad getting this paint job. I'm not the biggest orange fan and I love this. Yeah. It's looking good. Higgins said favorite Harley color combos. Yeah. And that's what I kind of thought, you know, cause it is, I mean, this is not Harley orange, but, that's pretty dang close, actually. It's a big, if you can't hear me, you better see me, Tank. Yes. Protecting his life. That's what I'm going to say if he doesn't. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, what? You don't want safety orange? Have you ever struggled with, quote, rider block when laying out designs? Yes. Yes, all the time. Especially on parts that have the same shape it's uh you always want to kind of do the same which you know like on a tear on a chopper tank it's so easy just to do a teardrop you know but uh if i do have writer's block or whatever you call it graphic block um usually i'll just browse around on the internet and look at different 
painted bikes or different paint jobs. Let's see if there's anything that that looks good that I may have missed or may need to be reminded of. Do you come to New Hampshire where's on bike week? Uh, do I? Mm -hmm. no, I? I wish. Have we gone to New Hampshire? Mm. Oh, were we in New Hampshire? Yeah, just for a minute. Yeah, I was going to say, I thought we'd been there for a second. Pretty sure I ate a, uh, that like was a fish Maine. sandwich there or something. That was in Maine. Was Are where? you a big fan of Inner Coat Clear? Uh, yes, well, it's, it's our, our clear base coat. But yeah, it's it's good for transferring candies on the parts. Some people use it as like a clear coat to bury. It's not really, that's not what that's meant for. Are you using base clear or 2K between your layers? Uh, 2K clear coat. You said it's like a vintage vibe. It does. It definitely does. Bubba said, I wonder if this would change under black light. Um, no, but there is some pigments that I have looked into that do um, change under black lights. Julio says, where are you located? I'm new here. Uh, we are um, in a town called Hooper, Utah. That uh, just in the outskirts of Salt Lake City. What's the most amount of hours you spent on one paint job? Wow, good question. Um, uh, I already know what it is. Uh, I did that that tin foil 3D paint job on my cousin's bike, and we literally had to because of the way that the some of the parts were shaped. They had to be cleared like 20 times, and I'm not kidding. It was a lot to get that tin foil to bury. It looked cool when we were all done. You know about how many hours you spent? Oh, I don't know. Because it, it was split up. It took us like six months. Because it was like on and off. Like we had to, every time I cleared something, that sucker was in with the clear. <laughs> it's like always tagged along. Like all the parts tagged along with other parts. So it was hard to put a time frame on it. But a long time. Randy was a winner last week, and he said he got the hood and the fiberglass towels today. Thanks. The fiberglass towels? Did you say fiberglass? I did. That's what he wrote. <laughs> <laughs> Microfiber, I think. <laughs> I was like, holy crap. I, <laughs> I was like, wait, did I say that? That's just what he wrote. I think it's spell check. But then he gave me a $10 super chat. Oh, okay. Okay, we're all good now. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, apparently I can't talk tonight, so I have to make sure that I'm getting on you about it. Have you ever tried Wizards compounds and polishes? Uh, I know. You know what those aren't ones I've ever tried. I've used 3M, uh, the Perfect It system, and I used that for years until I found the uh, CSI. Okay, see, that's looking good. Got a little smudge there. We're okay. So, yeah, bam. Let's do some more. John says, we do Daytona, and then they head down to Myrtle Beach for bike weeks all in a row. Oh, that's the way to do it. Okay, so I'm going to take this. I'm going to split that line. And then I'm going to follow, see on this, when I, when I create, I'm going to create three rectangles right here to kind of match what we got going on here. I'm going to start this way. That way I can follow the edge. Will the CSI finish on black paint or will you need something finer for those pesky swirls? Mm. Well, to be honest, yeah, it will. Um, they do have another compound that will help a little bit more with that. But really the black, I feel like it's the beginning stages that are so hard and not the final stages of cutting. But it's all, it's all kind of a pain in the ass when it comes to black. 
<laughs> what tape gives you the sharpest lines? Um, having this vinyl tape. That's why I'm using this vinyl. This is lime line. Uh, but any vinyl tape is going to give you a sharper line than what a paper tape would do. I'm going to cut this one. I make it half the size. I feel like stepping it down. These two the same size. That half fat is what I do. You can do whatever you want. Julio said thank you guys. Thank you for the great content. Babe. Content. I appreciate you guys. Hi from Seattle and sent you a twenty dollars super chat. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. I don't know why I keep saying you, because you me you should be us. <laughs> One of these days, I'm gonna make sure you share. So then it is us. Yeah, maybe tomorrow you get coffee. Maybe we'll get coffee. <laughs> Uh, he's from Seattle, though. That's where we want to go. Yeah, we do. Oh, well, that's, that's not where we want to go. That's where we're going to go this year sometime. We need to figure that out. Yep. But what did you want to do there? What was it? Uh, uh, take a boat ride? The hot tub boats. Oh, the hot tub boats. That's what it was. I'm going to get real close right here because... Here, I'm going to get rid of that. Bubba now. says, see, it's always tomorrow. <laughs> it's always tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah. Well, how about tomorrow? Yeah, when I said, one of the, you're going to give me money, he said, tomorrow. <laughs> why, do I, why do I do that? I don't know. You do. We caught you. Well, tomorrow might be the day. Free beer tomorrow. <laughs> That's what it might be. Of. That's my sign in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> OCPD said, when I was cut and polishing the black, it looked good until I started polished, then it looked like it was all scratched up. Yes. Yep. Uh, check your pad to make sure that it's clean. Um, sometimes you want to rinse it out. But man, uh, I always like to wax my parts, uh, black parts, after giving them to the customer, because sometimes you still get those little bit of swirls, and you can fill them in. I mean... You don't want it to be real bad, but sometimes you have to fill them in with just a little bit of wax. Snapfly7 said, what do you mean by it's more about the first steps rather than the finished buff on black? I've been having trouble getting rid of all the swirls in my fin final polish, but maybe it's an earlier step. Uh, yeah, I mean, usually when you start sanding, you'll start with a certain grit, which I prefer... Um, nothing I, I prefer with 1200 grit or even 2000 grit to start um usually it's 1200 grit and then uh and then you don't go with the 2000 grit and then i would do a 3000 grit to finish it off before i start polishing but any doing any one of those not good enough is going to cause the black not to shine up like it's supposed to um so basically if you're not going to sand it good enough to get the orange pill out with 1200 um, the 2000 is probably not going to do it. If you don't use the 2000 grit enough to get all your 1200 grit scratches out, well, that polishing compound is probably not going to get that out. So you have to make sure you do the earlier stages really good, especially the 3000 grit. When you move to 3000 grit, you're taking the 2000 grit and you're going to refine it to 3000 grit. And then the polish is that's more manageable for the polish to be able to get out 3000 grit scratches rather than 1200 grit scratches. Because if you start with 1200 and you miss a little bit here and there, well, you still have 1200 grit scratches in some spots. And the only way to really fix that is to go back and start from that stage again. And, you know, so many times um, I tell you on black paint, you kind of have to go back. Um, you're always constantly reminded. So yeah, but this is going satin. So we don't have any polishing when it, when it comes to satin paint. You just got to make sure it's clear coated and it's smooth and clean when you uh, apply that paint. Will you okay. be doing any spun leaf on this tank? Uh, none of that on here. But that will be coming up most likely next week. We'll be doing something with leaf in it because it's been a little bit. Julio said it takes a team. He's the one from Seattle. Said hit me up when you come. I will treat the hot tub crews. Oh, okay. <laughs> that'd be awesome. You do great work from Jeremy and Lana. All right, thanks. We were in Atlanta for. No, Jeremy and Lana or Lana, not in Atlanta. Oh. Huh. All right. Okay. 
Are your ears still plugged? Yeah. Hmm. They are. All right, once again, I'm going to start on that side and just run that out. And then cut that one down the center. Okay. Just kind of eyeballing it, you know. That one looks good there. About the same size. About half the size. And then we'll take the plastic razor blade. And then we're going to push down these corners. Because what happens is the tape will roll up over the edge right here because there's a thickness to this tape. And... Um, you can get a little blow by underneath those. So we're just going to pinch those down. Did some silver leaf on a cup and sprayed the glue through a stencil to give me a textured look. The leaf wanted to stick to, to the entire area, even where the glue was not applied. Is that normal? The say that one more time. Cause I only got half of that. Sorry. That darn selective hearing. Yeah. Did some silver leaf on a cup and sprayed the glue through a stencil to give me a textured look. The leaf wanted to stick to the entire area, even where the glue was not applied. Is that normal? Yeah, it is. Yeah, the leaf is going to want to stick to everything. So um, you're best off to mask anything off all the way off when you're applying the leaf, especially if it has like a texture to it. Like if you have a base coat that has like a lot of texture, that leaf's going to get into that texture. It's going to be really hard to get out. But a uh, glass cleaner will most likely pull it out. So you're not able to cut any dust nibs in final coat of 2K matte clear? No. Nope. Just make sure your booth is really clean. Make sure your parts have been cleared with regular clear coat and they've been sanded smooth. Kind of like this, you know? This is like really smooth compared to regular base coat, you know? Um, and the trick is, is super light coats. The heavier you put the coats, the more glossy it's going to get and the more prone for, uh, dirt nibs to lay in it. So I like to just do tack coats. I'll do super light coats, like two to three of them is all, that's all I would do because the, all the graphics are protected under, um, regular clear coat. That's going to add a lot of thickness and a lot of UV protection. The you, you can't count on the flat clear coat giving you any kind of protection. It's not going to give any kind of UV protection because it's applied so light. Um, you know, and, it, and it, it, it's, it's, it's its own beast, to be honest, because it's um, sometimes it's a little harder to maintain because you can't polish it. it I mean, what, what most people do is they'll use a piece of white scotch bright and... Um, you could rub it down with white, white scotch bright, and that'll. I said Jeremy and Lana, and you thought I said Atlanta. I can't hear Someone Amazon. said, I heard, oh, my Lanta. Maybe Jeremy and Lana. Lanta. Maybe Jeremy and Lana, that should be their couple name. Oh, my Lanta. <laughs> it's a good one. John Cox said, you use the roller again. Use the roller again. I did use the roller again. Mikey, oh, Mickey. He has given me ideas. You owe him. A, you owe uh, Mikey. I think Mikey. Mikey. Well, you Mickey. said it. Mikey or Mickey, you owe him a, a membership. You gotta figure that out. I gotta. Uh, oh, I I'll the, just add it to the honeydew list. I can give him the discount code. I'll give him the discount code. Just info. Just uh, send us an email. Mikey, we'll give you the discount code. Mikey or Mickey, whoever. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm not sure your name's not on the log now, but you're the one that said to use the roller. So email and he'll give you a code. Brilliant. Brilliant. What's a good wax to use on black before delivery? Mm, I like just, uh, I think McGuire's bought out turtle wax and they have, a. Uh, it's like in a red tin can and it has like an applicator pad that comes with it. It's a paste. Um, I really like it because I feel like it like puts a thick coating on it. Uh, but you have kind of have to be careful because some of those waxes can um, sometimes new paint needs a chance to breathe and to exhaust all of the um, all of the solvents out of it. And sometimes wax can 
uh, seal that up so those so the solvents get trapped under there, and it apparently can make it um, make it dull. But uh, I've never seen it, and I've done it a lot. Um, but I don't know if it's a folklore. Maybe somebody else knows better than I. Dan says, I took on this repair and having trouble with the technique because it's a 06 Fat Boy CVO stock paint. He said, I can't seem to replicate the grinding slash end and turn flame pattern. Can I email you and get your opinion? Yeah, you can. Yep, or Instagram. Okay, let's see what I'm going to. I'm gonna. Oh, we can't even see what I'm got going on here. If you it's wanted, terrible. you could use lace on the big squares. Oh, which squares? The big squares. On this one? Yeah, I wouldn't dream of using lace on this particular style. Um, on this, I'd probably use honeycomb though. That's one thing I probably would use. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and match up what we have going on. On the other side, same thing here. Are you going to the one moto show in Portland? Uh, we went to that, right? Is that the one we went to? One moto? No, we didn't. Oh, no, no, I'm thinking of Pittsburgh. <laughs> um, no, that'd be cool though. I've heard of that. Do you recommend a certain brand of adhesion promoter? Yes, there is Dominion has a, a adhesion promoter that I really like. Wizard finished wax is great on fresh paint. Oh really? Huh. I'll have to try that. Is that advertised that way? Like good for fresh paint? I don't know. I always kinda of wondered if there was one there was like a brand that would uh would clear that to make sure that was okay because i don't know someone asked is that going to be a gloss clear i think it's still nice to have a flat would look sick yep it's going to be a flat it's going to look very similar to what it looks like right here um yeah i love i love the way that flat clear coat looks on color you know i'm not like particularly fond of flat black i like flat black as long as it's paired up with another color um but uh yes i'm a big fan of having satin color one moto shows april 19th to the 22nd they said definitely come check it out oh. cool do you give away something yeah let's do it what do you let want me, to give away uh let's give away a uh metal flake and tape set huh with the We'll do the all three sizes of the fine line tape and then two packs of metal flake. And then we're going to get on to um, doing these highlights. What does a job like this cost? Oh, on a whole bagger? Uh, it would be around 6000 bucks. All right, good luck, guys. Robbie Cates. You just added a D, huh? Huh? Robbie? Oh. Or Rob. <laughs> yeah, I bet his name's really Robbie. <laughs> you! <laughs> just add in a different... Make someone's name. I'm sure it's Robbie. I don't think so. It is. Probably, Robbie, let me know. It's probably Robbie. Prove me right, Robbie. Please. <laughs> You're not right, babe. <laughs> I've been wrong all night. <laughs> Give me some good news. I just make up someone's name, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think you're doing? It's, it's his name. Watch. He's coming back as you didn't tell. No, it isn't. He's going to give you the one for it. Yeah, yeah, my name's Robbie. No, it ain't. It's my mama called me Robbie. Make up people's names. Oh, I, I saw what I saw. It's where it said Robbie. It must have changed. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, that looks great. Okay, so we're going to add some highlights to this. Oh, One of the last guys. things we're going to do tonight. These guys hey, are, we're still, we're still, you know, we should give away a minigun. These guys are calling them different names now, okay? <laughs> 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 That's great. 
Congrats, Robin. Congrats, Roberto. Congrats, <laughs> Robbie. <laughs> Roberto. Even if he's wrong, tell me he's right. He's having a rough night. <laughs> yeah, the paint's going good, though. Wow. So uh, as long as we don't run into that, we're all right. Well, I hope he's on here to tell, to tell you that you're freaking wrong. I don't know how I could be. That's like someone calling you bud. You don't like that. Oh, no. You don't. <laughs> he... Oh, here he is. Let's see. Call, Call me what you want. want. I don't care. <laughs> oh, 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 wait a second, Rob. He said, Call me what you want. I don't care. Considering a couple of months ago, I called Ashley Amanda. Uh, there you go. You're the one who called me that. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay, yeah, Robbie. Yeah, I'm just getting them back. Okay. I'm just getting them back. Okay, you had my back the whole time. I did. Thanks, babe. Thanks. Yeah. You take that, Robbie. <laughs> all right so i have some uh so this is the same 90s it doesn't look as bright in the camera but um this is the 90s uh, yellow and we're going to use this yellow to accent on the orange we also could have used the 90s red which would have been a good complement color because i mean these this is pretty close to that um as far as shade goes uh, the red would have been the same way it just would have been darker i felt like Going with the yellow was a better option, and I like I love the way it turned out. So we're gonna go ahead and obviously stick with it. We're not gonna do one side red, the other side yellow. That'd be crazy. I can't believe he's gonna like, call me the wrong name. <laughs> yeah, this looks a little thick. I'm gonna thin this out a little bit. Oh, that was funny. Bill says, "Could you spend a minute or so and tell us about the '62 and Paul on the rack?" Oh. Yeah, we're going to ruffle some feathers on that one. <laughs> some people really get, like talk, like some people get about heated that. about this conversation. <laughs> and I will say, I was one of the ones who was upset when he told me he was going to do it in the first place, too. Well, and there's reasons. There's reasons why that thing is cut in half. But uh, Some people think that we got a divorce and, <laughs> and I got half the car, literally, yeah. and he got half the car. <laughs> Okay, half yours, half mine. <laughs> we sell the middle. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I did sell the other half, though. I did actually sell the other half um, for... To someone in Idaho, right? Yeah, for almost as much as I paid for the whole car. They have it on their wall in Idaho somewhere. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I mean, it, uh, it had a... Let's see. Um, if it was human, it, it, it wouldn't have a birth certificate. I guess you could say that because it's some um, things didn't match up quite right. Okay, let's uh so once again I'm just gonna aim right for the edge there. Did I do the edge? Let me let me go look. I wanna make these this yeah, that's what I did. So I'm gonna hit the edge and I'm gonna follow all the way down. that okay we do need to trim this side but we don't need to worry about trimming that side because all we're doing is painting this edge so i'm going to take tape pull it up to that so we're not risking cutting into the paint once again this has clear coat on it so it's pretty safe from from getting cut Bob Jones says, you guys are awesome together. Adam, I have learned so much watching your videos, doing my first paying job next week. Thank you so much. Wow, first paying job. That's awesome. Yeah, and thank you for the comment. Nice words. And that's awesome. 
good luck. Especially when you can make a little bit of cash or even, you know, even break even on your first one or however it goes. I don't know. Just don't do stuff for free. We've talked about that before. It's okay if it's for your family members and stuff like that. But um, if it's somebody shopping for an actual paint job and they're, they're actively shopping other painters, <clears throat> try to try to stay strong on your pricing because um, yeah, it could be potentially stealing a job from somebody that might need it. We are going to give away a minigun in yeah. all that commotion of wrong name mishaps. <laughs> <laughs> I do have that broke down, but uh, yeah, gonna, that'll be the last one we'll give away. Yeah. We're, we're almost, we're getting to the, to the uh, latter part of this live because we're into it what hour and a half almost almost what's the price on the miniguns and there it says and yes you guys are a great team Thank oh yeah you. the price on the miniguns should be uh 99 bucks right now so uh i think that's pretty inexpensive i'm pretty sure <laughs> Oh man. What in the H? Uh, okay. Let's see here. We're now, gonna access the damage. This is what everybody was so nervous about last week. <laughs> well the good news is is it's been clear coated. Good hell. Let me check this thing out. Hold on. Hold on. Don't panic. <laughs> Everyone's panicking. Don't Everybody's panic. panicking. <laughs> Where's the glass cleaner? Please. Right here. Okay. Let's see this thing. Oh no, my. I'm telling you, usually I have pretty good luck when stuff falls. I have a rubber floor here. <laughs> and it rolled. It rolled all oh okay. My God. Like it wasn't a big thud. Oh man. I hate it wasn't when that happens. A loud thud. No, no, that's why I got a rubber floor. You can uh tractor supply store, you can buy horse stall um, rubber mats. This was like an inch thick. And uh, they're like 60 bucks. Mm -hmm. So I have a whole bunch of them. That's exactly, that's what my floor's made out of. So yeah, this just is for that, let's see. Uh, oh no, my heart just dropped out. I think I may have scuffed it. Yeah, yep. I scuffed it there, which that's okay. Cause I can save that. I scuffed it there, 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 there. There and there. Oh, what's this? Oh, looks like. Watch this. Let's see. Maybe I can. I freaking knew it. Part just skipped like three beats. Oh, look at that. See, since it's been clear coated. Oh, yeah. I got rid of that problem right there. I think I peed a little. That was <laughs> that was a little hello hello well been there bit done of a that right there okay. holy crap ah, damn it Adam no we're okay we're okay because all the damage happened on the black and it's not um, <laughs> there's like no dents or nothing everyone's freaking out yeah, yeah. where's the baby wipes <laughs> many swear words clear coat predicts against dents hopefully he's saved by the rubber yeah. <laughs> I haven't drank in four years, and I'm fixing to start back. <laughs> Holy shit, Batman! I reached uh, for it, but couldn't get it. Uh, <laughs> next investment. Next investment is a bigger turntable, son. Yeah. Bolt holes. Uh, Hope the owner of the bike isn't watching. Uh, that is true. I always worry about that. Lesson learned, everyone. Keep a rubber around. <laughs> Bolt holes. Finally. It's cool. I know a good painter. You've all been, we've all been there. My jaw dropped from that. Woo. Nailed it. Next week's live, we'll be fixing the tank from the fall. <laughs> rubber, rubber will help many problems. Yes. Buy a lottery ticket. <laughs> Does gravity still work? Yes. You need a damn seatbelt on that thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, in all of that, I do have to tell you, uh, Rob Jones sent a $20 suit. For uh, chat right before it fell, and then after it fell, he sent another twenty. Oh, there I, think, I think he feels bad, dude. You freaking, <laughs> you freaking drunk. I'm the cause, man. I'm the cause. 
Thanks for no, those super chats. We're okay. And thank you for those super chats. That's good. That makes it all better. <laughs> I feel so much better now. No, um, really, we dodged a bullet on that, like, all in all. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll have to fix a couple of those things. And um, uh, maybe on the membership. Uh, have you, you guys noticed I do post on that membership page? I was posting on the membership page today, and, and actually, I let it go to everybody. Uh, but uh, maybe I'll post on that and how I repaired that. But pretty easy. I mean, it's it's on the black. We're good. We dodged a bullet, like I said. <laughs> Rubber jokes are hilarious. I think you should try the new dent coat. Adam needs to go check his pants. Yeah. It would be sweet if Adam could paint my old school sports or take. I haven't got my airbrush kit. Cheddar I sent a $50 super chat and said, $50 super chat and said, next week's video, how to repair dented tank. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Chad. Thanks, Cheddar, for the super chat. He's going to need it because he's probably going to cry. Oh. Put a piece of carpet on the table. It helps a lot. Well, Drop. I'm telling you, I think I was saved by the rubber, really. <laughs> saved by the rubber. Uh, hashtag drop tank winner. I feel Freak. really bad that happened. but Freak me out, man. Brought back memories from when I did that to my personal tank, but I had to say the whole thing down and re I had to stand the whole thing down and repaint it. I had no rubber. <laughs> no rubber. Well, there you go. There's your warning, guys. Get your rubber. Always have a rubber. That one that one sixty dollar pad saved it's my safe. butt. One rubber saved from a mistake. A mistake. See? Lessons learned here. We're learning. Learn as you go. <laughs> but yes, um, because I almost had an accident last week, too, huh? Yep. I just called my therapist. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that rubber saved me from 18 years of dent repair. <laughs> <laughs> 18 oh, years. <laughs> no. Guys, thanks for the super chat. We appreciate it. By tomorrow, we're going to forget all about this. Bubba, there he goes with the word tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> you need a tank a stand. Day. Yeah, I do need a tank stand. Those things are nice. Uh, I don't know who makes them. There was a guy a while back made them. Tractor Supply should sponsor you now because tomorrow we're all going to go buy the rubber. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> a discount code to give you guys okay so you can see how everyone order more stuff adam needs new underwear I do. <laughs> fact <laughs> so you see what that did that, that turned it uh, really nice it gave it a little bit of a uh, highlight there oh the paint no it didn't no no there's no there's nothing wrong with this thing I mean, little scuffs we're moving on from that <laughs> I recently bought a ghost purple pigment of the Limelight brand, and I want want it on a white base coat. How do I go about it? Um, you would uh, spray down the white the white base coat, and then uh, mix that ghost pearl into clear base coat. Reduce it and spray it over the white base coat. That's how you do that. John says, I noticed Adam kind of paused before he moved, maybe thinking what to do. He really did. Huh? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, was... I turned on like, why is he sitting there so long? Pick up the tank. What's he doing? Well, I've learned from the years of this happening that it doesn't matter how fast you pick it up. <laughs> it's, it's, it's done rolling around. It's still you know? already ruined. It's not like your baby is getting ready to cry. You know, it's uh, No, you're getting I was I was kind of trying to like... Uh, process of what exactly just happened you just bumped it off the table that's what happened yeah yeah oh man down lime line rubber coming soon just so you know everyone the, the pads at tractor supply are 46.99 on sale right now <laughs> <laughs> go get them get them while they're hot oh they are great though i was thinking about putting them in my booth too 
Williamson. I've had accents in there. <laughs> Williamson, he wants to move on, but the rest of us don't laugh out loud. <laughs> It's so true. He does. He's like, okay, we're fine. Let's go. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We just want to keep on here. We just want to keep it going. Yeah. Oh. We knew it was happening. Hey man, I don't live in the past, okay? <laughs> he was in shock. Next week video will be done in a bounce house for safety reasons. Uh, hey, that's next level there. I'm liking that. Is the 1.3 the minigun? Um, no, the, uh, the minigun is a 0 0.08, uh, very, very small, but uh, still shoots clear coat. Uh, you wouldn't buy that if you wanted to paint your, uh, your civic or anything, it, mostly for small parts. Why do you hate doing tour packs? Uh, cause they, they really suck the polish. Um, they're hard to paint. Because of the curves, they always get runs. Um, and and, it, and customers never want to pay for them. That's the other problem. They think it's like an add-on for free. And it's literally the hardest. And it's not even the, the whole trunk. It's the lid. The lid is just horrible. But, but yeah, yeah maybe, maybe other people can agree with me on that. I can be right again today. <laughs> you need to be right after you drop that. Yeah, I just, I just totally, totally need to redeem myself somehow. Thanks for the info. Wish you had white base coat on the Limeline brand. Do you suggest a brand for white base coat? Um, you can use Speedo coat. White base coat is coming soon, right? Yes, it is. White base coat is coming soon. I actually do have white base coat if you want to. Um, I just don't have labels for it. Uh, so I'm not actually allowed to like sell it or I'm allowed to sell it. I'm just, I just can't uh, like put it on Amazon because it doesn't have any labels. So yeah, hit me up on the info at Limeline and I, I can get you a quart. The ounce house will be there tomorrow. Yes. We should count how many times you say tomorrow on these lives. Someone said, <laughs> Kevin oh, we'll, said we'll start tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> Kevin said, great stuff. Thank you. Thank you very much for posting this. Zero, point zero eight or point eight? Oh, yes. Did I say zero? Yeah, that's pretty dang small. Uh, no, it's point eight. Last year, I dropped a shaved tailgate from the rack when I was rolling it into the paint room, landed right on the corner and on top of a gallon of prep saw. Oh. Oh, just that, say yeah. no to tour packs. Laugh out loud. Yeah, see? This guy knows. So is 0 0.08 the minimum size needle to spray clear? Uh, to spray clear, yes. I wouldn't. I wouldn't go anything uh, smaller than that. There actually, there's not very many guns that that is smaller than that. On a good note, Adam just proved the durability of limelight paint. <laughs> is and I got video evidence. Was the gray down below the yellow tape messed up also? The what? The the gray down below the yellow tape. Uh oh, right here. Nope. That's just a little smudge. You put point oh eight on the website description. On the on the minigun? Uh oh. Not good. Is that for real? Well, I know, I know I have been saying this too, so that's probably right. You know what? Jay, that. is that right? He's, he's questioning himself, but just slap a sticker on the white base coat can and ship it. Laugh <laughs> out loud. How much is the white base coat? Um, the white base coat is the same as the black base coat, like 45 bucks. Amazon says z point zero 0.08. Oh, I'm gonna have to fix that. That's inc no, no wonder nobody's buying it. They're like point zero 0.08. What the hell is that? Yeah, I'll get that changed first thing. Okay, Robbie. <laughs> Welcome to the Robbie and Amanda show. There you go. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, Bubba says you're going to fix that tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, I, uh, tomorrow. Actually, I got other plans tomorrow. <laughs> Amazon and Big Cartel both say that. Really? Man. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, yeah, thanks for good looking out, though. Appreciate that. Yep. That would have took me a long while to figure that out myself. I'll add it to the list. Now that one I'm going to do quick. That'll be done tonight. Mm. A little overspray. Oh, we're good. We're good. All right. That's looking great. Let's get a little bit of a close up of that. Can't really see. Oh, yeah. There we go. See how it just fades out, fades down? So the, the paint is reduced and thinned out enough to where it's um, giving nice, smooth blends. You know, unlike the, remember when we first started the gray up around here, um, there it was, see, there's a little problem there. But once again, we have, um, we have the protection of that clear coat to where that jet lag stays with you a little longer, the older you get. Yeah, you get. something's happening. Something's happening. Vacation mode. <laughs> okay. We're all better there. Took care of that problem. Uh-huh. Good thing for the good old rubber. <laughs> Saves right, a lot of people. Looks like we got one more. I'm going to go ahead and do um, this last one right up here. We'll get a different bird's eye view. Nice little highlight. Yeah, the highlight makes all the difference. And, you know, we could take this one step farther um, by adding a highlight to these as well. We could run a 16th inch on the gray and then just take that same gray paint, add a little bit of either a little bit of black or a little bit of white to be able to change the tone. I would probably say a little bit of white to make it a little bit lighter and then put that highlight in there. Um, also, when everything's all said and done, we're going to be able to put a little bit of a drop shadow that comes across here um, that will make it look like that's kind of tucking underneath. But I'll wait until the next layer to do that because if it's been clear coated, we can always sand it. And if it falls off again, <laughs> we got triple the coverage. Yeah. Let's not do that again. This is supposed to be shipped out here soon. Yeah, this has to be, uh, this has to be somewhere like in uh, a couple days. I don't know how I'm going to meet this timeline, to be honest with you, and I'm dropping the tank. Okay. Okay, last one we'll put right here. And then we'll give away that mini paint gun, that point eight paint gun. What that? Point eight, that's 0.8 to some people. Well... <laughs> Okay, once again we're gonna do on we're gonna start on the top. I'm gonna spray it right there. They want to know if you can show them the fairy. Uh, yes, I can. I'll spray this last one, and we'll give that gun away, and then we'll we'll show, show the fairy and how that's coming along. Someone said, hopefully you didn't label the boxes point oh eight. <laughs> yeah, and the manufacturer did that. So, how do you set pricing for custom paint jobs? Um, depends on your abilities. Um, but usually a tank and fender, you shouldn't be doing cheaper than 1500 bucks. That should be like the, the going rate on the cheap side. Oh, I need to cut that right there. So yeah, 1500 bucks. Um, if you're adding, if there's some kind of leaf, um, or anything like that, then you're up into 2,500. Um, also, you know, uh, depends if you're using like metal flake and candies. Um, it all kind of depends on the paint. 
Um, this one is a bagger, so this is like around six thousand, like I talked about earlier, because it's it's a lot. There's no tour pack with this though, but there is an inner fairing, which those are also also uh, very very terrible. I want to hear somebody that likes to paint inner fairings. I want to hear, I want to hear somebody say that. I don't believe it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do water droplets. Do you clear coat first, then sand? Water droplets effect. Mm -hmm. Um, you uh, no, I actually like to uh, paint the water droplets on top of base coat, and then you would clear it after that. Yeah. Sometimes you need to clear it twice because the um, water droplets could leave a little bit of a buildup that you need to take care of. Redneck side motorcycle whip said he got my spinner and glue today. He got it? Yep. All right. Yeah, remember you can, with that glue, it goes on really thin. You don't want to um build it up to where it's thick or leveling out that none of that it's uh you want to make sure that you're keeping that glue really thin and um you can always uh double leaf stack your leaf one on top of each other with more glue and that helps with uh any kind of a burn through that you might have when spinning okay you hold your fine line up at the filler hole <clears throat> Over here we're good i see some green on some orange so maybe that's what he's talking about right oh there. that's just a, that's just a little bit of green tape okay once again the same yellow cut and buff a tour pack is horrible yeah it's the worst i just painted my st fairing and left the inside black for that reason you haven't done water droplets in a long while. Yeah, water droplets. Uh, that's one thing that takes a little bit of time because you have to let those droplets dry on their on their own. Little late tonight, Roger. That was at the paint class. Said a little late tonight. Been setting the flake on my interfering, which has by far been the worst part yet. Yes. You'll get it though. I mean. It's the worst part of the job, but it's not, you know, it's pretty horrible. I'm not going to lie. Make it look okay. so easy. Love your work. Yeah, thank you. Okay, make sure we got enough right there. Looking good. It's really hard to tell what you've done. You can see it kind of bright in the edge of the tape. What's so bad about sanding flake? Uh, sanding flake? Uh, nothing's really wrong with sanding flake. It's just the inner fairings that uh, they're not that fun. It's because of the shape of them, right? Yeah, it's the shape, yeah. And they're made out of plastic, and then they're hard to cut and buff. It's, you know, it's just... It's not like a fuel tank that's nice and round. It has a lot of edges and a lot of corners. Make sure you all do hashtag line because we're going to give away that minigun here. Yep. Soon. No, right now. Oh. Yeah, we got it. So, yeah, looking good. Uh, looks like I still need to add a little bit more right here. I'll go ahead and do that. Um, got something green down there. Oh, a little bit of tape. Oh, oh, I'm not messing with this thing anymore. We'll get a good view of it, and then we'll give away that a paint gun. There we go. Okay. All right, let's do it. Oh, 
Okay. All right, good luck, guys. Peter Miller. You want it? Uh, do I have a gun here to show? Uh, I don't. Uh, but yes, you won the uh, point zero. No. <laughs> I, oh I, probably everything's wrong. <laughs> point eight minigun. Um, but uh, yeah, you're going to have to go ahead and email us at uh, the info at limelinepaintsupply.com. Give us your address and we'll be able to ship that out to you. Uh, if you don't want the gun, we can change you out for something else too. So just let us know. Okay, any other questions? We'll go through if there's see if there's any last minute questions on this. He says thanks heaps. Does that mean he's in the US? I don't see. Not yet. Okay. That's it, guys. I think that's it. All right. Oh, so they said show the fairing. Oh, that's right. I knew we were missing something. this thing to fall let me uh whoa whoa where are we at here there we go so um yeah same kind of concept um as you can see we have and this hasn't been scuffed down yet so this is what it looks like after the clear coat um so this has been clear coated two times already so when i first started this this came in and it was just raw plastic i uh, scuffed it up with 600 grit I cleaned it with wax and grease remover, and then I applied a adhesion promoter on the top. And then I went straight to white base coat. I added the orange uh, base coat from Limeline, and then I clear coated it th at that point. So it all looked just like this, shiny with just the orange. Sanded it smooth. I added the black graphics, and then re-cleared everything. So now everything's been buried. And smooth that out again, and then what we'll, we'll do is I'll just go ahead and sand this with kind of grit. And basically, basically the same, same thing I did to the tank over there. there. I'm gonna do this. this. Highlights, highlights, uh, uh, gray, gray, and then, and then um, yeah, not yeah, as not as much. So I have to have a look at things. So it's gonna, gonna be a little easier. Does it have any gray on it? <clears throat> uh, not yet, but yeah, that, that's gonna be the next step on this one. Cool. All right, guys. Well, I appreciate y'all being here. Um, yeah, guys. We appreciate it. We love our Thursday nights. Yep. Okay. We'll see you next Thursday. Thanks again. Bye, guys.